Hi, I'm Angela, and this is Parisian Farm Girl. Welcome to my channel. In this episode of Everyday Chateau, we are celebrating, get it girl, because we finally have a dairy cow. And I just made her a beautiful wreath from weeds on the property, and I think she's pretty content, as are we. This is a dream come true. If you haven't already, be sure to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up. Of course, follow over on Instagram because that's where you and I can hang out every day. You'll get to see Fern all the time. <laughs> and of course, make sure that you're listening to the Homemaker Chic podcast twice a week on Apple, Google, Spotify, or wherever you enjoy podcasts. It is the 4th of July weekend. We are celebrating the birth of a new calf the arrival of Fern here on our farm 10 weeks ago. Thank you so much for joining us. I appreciate you. Fern, would you like some more? Oh my gosh, there's a cow in there. Pretty good. I'm gonna pull up here, Joel, okay? You giving him the thumbs up, Junior? I met a farmer online who has a herd of 70 or 80 dairy cows and they are pastured cows in southern Wisconsin and they supply the milk for an artisan cheese company. So this is our new dairy cow and the farmer drove her up for us. This was a really big day for her. She had never had a halter on. She's a pastured cow. She had never been in a trailer. And as happy as I was to receive her, I knew what a big stressful day this was for the animal. This cow is the biggest animal we've ever had on our farm. You'll see there's some green paint on her back and she's a little nicked up from the ride. The paint is to let the farmer know to dry her off. She was due to calf when she arrived in about 10 to 12 weeks. So that paint is just to let the farmer know that as part of that herd, she needed to be dried off to get ready for calving. You'll see her udder isn't very big and there's still some snow in the air. But we have the barn all cleaned out for her and all things considered, that's the farmer right there. She said that Fern did very well. Uh, just for her to be standing there and letting me pet her and visit with her, that she acclimated really quickly. She also said the kids were going to be really key in helping her feel welcome on our farm and that has definitely happened. You'll see she's bony and you can see her ribs, which is very typical of a Jersey. They put all their energy into making milk so they don't look like uh, a beef cow, maybe what you're used to seeing, but she's so beautiful. She's nine years old. She's had eight successful calvings. She's, she knows what she's doing and that was really important to us. So you can see she's very gentle with the children and all in all, the delivery of Fern to the farm was an amazing experience and she did so good. <laughs> Been drawing on your face again there, kid? <laughs> She's here.
Just, we're just looking. Oh, she's laying back down. When did she lay down? Oh, I didn't even notice that. Just a Is a pig in the pen or not? Oh, he's in the pen. Shoot, I should have brought him some rotten strawberries. I got up early and I woke the two oldest girls up to come and sit in the lawn chairs with me. We were just sitting there in the morning haze and we were waiting for Fern to give birth and all of a sudden Amelie Lee says, she's licking him off. He was hiding in the corner and we didn't know it. I'll film him. Wait. <laughs> Open the gate. Open the gate for mom. We are the biggest nerds. We're sitting here waiting for her to have it and she's licking it off. That's what we get for giving her her privacy. Hurry up, let me in. <laughs> Oh my gosh! Fern! Oh, good girl, Fern! Oh. My grandfather was a dairy farmer, and his first registered Holstein, they named Thaloy, Fern, and Dean. My grandparents' names are Thelma and Lloyd, and so Thaloy, Fern, and Dean is very special to me. I decided to name my cow Fern, even though she's a Jersey and not a Holstein. She still epitomizes everything we've been working for as a family for the last 10 years. We are out of our mind with elation to bring this queen to our farm. She is the queen of the farm. You okay, Fern? Mm. Morning. Juliet woke you up, I see. Young sir, mother and child are doing well. They are recovered. And our family now has a completely new way of life with this precious animal that we've waited for for so long. When there's no one to Steak and eggs. 
pizza and croutons. And have a little celebratory breakfast. Celebrate the cat. You hungry? Yeah. Junior? Hey, Mom. Where are you? I'm right here. Okay, what's his name, little sir? George. Young sir. Come on, baby, help him a lot. The baby comes out of the big mama for you mean that one too. She know how to get KK's breakfast self.
Thank you so much for joining me. If you'd like to catch up on our Potager gardening series, you can do that from the beginning right here. And if you'd like to start Everyday Chateau from season one, episode one, you can do that right here. Be sure you've subscribed. We're going to start milking fern in about two weeks, and that's when all the fun will begin. A bientôt.